In the meantime, I want to challenge you a little bit and expose you to a demonstration which is kind of bizarre, and I want you to tell me why it doesn't behave the way I want it to behave. I have balloons, small balloons here, which are filled with air. And I'm going to put them in liquid nitrogen. So they have a certain volume. I don't care what that volume is. They are at room temperature, which is 293 degrees. And the pressure inside is very close to one atmosphere. There's almost no overpressure in those balloons. I'm going to make the temperature 77 degrees Kelvin, which is liquid nitrogen. The pressure will remain very closely one atmosphere. These balloons don't have very much overpressure, no matter what you do with them. And so I want to know what the volume is, how much they're going to shrink. Well, I apply the ideal, ideal gas law, and the number of molecules is not going to change, R is not going to change. So the new volume is going to be the old volume times the new temperature divided by the old temperature. And so that is the old volume times 77 divided by 293, if the ideal gas law holds. And that is one quarter of V1. So the volume becomes four times less. If the volume is four times less, then the radius becomes 60 percent of what it originally was, because R cubed goes with the volume. So R2 is about 60 percent of R1. So that should be very noticeable. A balloon this big should become this big. What you will see, however, is something very different. Okay, I think we are okay on this one now. We'll try to put the cap back on, if I can find the cap. Oh yeah, there it is. Now let me tighten it a little better than I did the first time. And let's see now if it cools, whether it does better. Clearly the other one was never properly sealed. So here we have the, um, the balloons, and I'm going to dip them in liquid nitrogen. Come on, Ken. It would be quite a coincidence if that one is also leaking. Normally they collapse in seconds. This one doesn't want to collapse. There it goes. There it goes. It's making obscene noises. There it goes. There it goes. Ooh. You'll see that. Look at the, um, at the balloons. Here's a balloon. And here's a balloon. Anyone's birthday today here? Must be someone, 200 kids, not kids. 200 grown-ups. Someone must be birthday. 50 percent chance. No one's birthday? Hard to believe. Okay. So I predict that if I put it in liquid nitrogen, which I have here, that the radius will become 60 percent of what it was. So it shrinks a little. There we go. And what you see is something uh, very, very different. And that I want you to explain. And you have all the tools available. Keep in mind, I put it in liquid nitrogen. Remember that when you're looking for a solution. Okay, there's almost no volume left. It's like a flat pancake. It's nothing. Now it comes up, of course, because now it goes back to room temperature. My goodness, it's having a hard time there. Why is it not? Why is it not one quarter? Why is it so much smaller than what you expect? I'll do one more. If you come here, why don't you come here? You'll see that it is, it is, it is nothing. There is this, the volume is, is effectively zero. You see that? Don't be worried. And now it comes up. 
Last question for you to think about this weekend. I have here a can with tennis balls. And when you open this can, as everyone knows who plays tennis, you hear pshht. When you go to Europe and you buy coffee, and you open a coffee can, you hear pshht. People like that. They think that's good. A little bit of vacuum in there, something like that. Makes the coffee stay longer, better, fresher. It's baloney, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> in any case, these tennis balls in the same tradition, you open it up and you hear pshht. Now comes a question for you. Is the pressure inside the can higher than one atmosphere? Or is it lower? It cannot be the same, because then you wouldn't, you wouldn't hear pshht. And if so, why would the pressure inside be different? And I'll give you one clue, and the clue is crucial. You open the can, you don't play with the balls, you wait two days, and the balls are useless. You can't play with them anymore. That should give you a clue. Think about it. Think about the liquid nitrogen balloons. 